All right, Shalom. All right, first I want to say all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Mechak Wadash. Uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS, and uh, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. All right, so this is GMS Precess. My name is Azar Qad. And uh, pretty much, um, as you know, the brothers know today was, um, uh, you know, this voting, uh, this voting thing, you know, has been going on for the, for the past week or so. You had candidates trying to get the people to vote, okay, getting bamboozled to, to vote to make to make them think that their vote matters or to make a difference, which is which is all, which is all an illusion, by the way, okay. Your votes don't matter. The the the, the reality is your votes don't matter. They're a mere suggestion, okay. And uh, there's even a quote here I have I pulled up from 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 Joseph Stalin. It says, "It is it is enough that people who." know there was an election the people who cast their vote decides nothing the people who count the vote decides everything so they're so so basically they're letting you know that your vote doesn't mean anything okay it isn't isn't it is nothing but a mere suggestion the people that count the votes which which are the elites the rulers okay your government they decide who your next ruler is Despite what you want, despite and, and what's the proof of that? They have a such thing as a popular vote and electoral vote. Okay, and, and the electoral vote are a, a group uh, of officials selected by each state. Uh, they have a vote, and their vote supersedes the popular vote or the vote of the people. Okay, so that in itself, the electoral vote and a, and a popular vote, that shows you that your vote really doesn't mean anything man okay but uh, I'm gonna get into a few scriptures here one in Deuteronomy in particular where it states that as an Israelite you are not to anoint another heathen as your ruler man okay and furthermore uh, uh, um, you shouldn't anoint any ruler here in America when America is getting ready to be destroyed the most is getting ready to destroy America man so why waste your time in, in, in getting into all these politics when all it is is politics, okay? Okay, politics or politics or however you want to, or whatever the saying is, all right? But anyway, the first scripture I'm going to get is in Deuteronomy. <clears throat> and it, this is Deuteronomy 17. I'll start at 15. I mean, I'll start at 14 and point to 15. It says, When thou art come into the land which the Lord that power giveth thee, and shall possess it, it shall dwell and sh and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Verse 15, here's a point. Thou shalt in any wise set a king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. Okay, so it's telling you right there, the, the one that really chooses your leaders or, or your, your king, okay, is the Mosai, man. The Mosai chooses your, your rulers, man. Okay? It says, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Okay? So at the end of the day, well, let me clarify this. The, at the end of the day, the Most High, through the Spirit, he chooses the rulers. The situation that happened with Samuel. He chose Saul through the Spirit. Then he, then through the Spirit, the Most High had Samuel choose David as the next king. Okay? So the king, the ruler of Israel, the nation of Israel, is always... Uh, 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 from the Most High, okay, and the and the Most High, his next ruler or the next ruler, on on not only for the Israelites, not only for you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but the next ruler here, uh, uh, on planet Earth, okay, is is Yahweh Shai, man, who the, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, all right, and he all, he all, he only needs one vote, and that's from the Most High, okay. So it reads, A one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother, which is what? A heathen. Okay? So our people, we ain't supposed to go out there and vote, man. Number, number one, this isn't, an, this isn't our, 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 our setup. This isn't our society. This is, we're, this is, we're just here merely for our captivity, which... Uh, 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 the duration or the time period of our captivity is almost over with, man. All right, the Most High is getting ready. He's playing his. He's he's doing his chess moves 
to deliver the nation of Israel out of the hand of the bondmen or out of our captives, man. All right, and that's happening very soon. So I got one more scripture. This is Jeremiah 30 and um 30 and 29 or 21. It says, and their nobles sh showing you that Israel are, uh, are only supposed to have Israel rule Israel, man. Not these other heathens, not these Edomites rule Israel. Okay, it, J Jeremiah 30 and 21. And their nobles shall be of themselves. Let me, let me start at 20 because that's the point, just to get the whole gist. Therefore, Jeremiah 30 and 20. Their, their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. Okay? You see, the Most High is all, all about getting vengeance for the ones that oppress his people, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, time and time again. Okay? It says, and their nobles shall be of themselves, meaning what? Their kings, their leaders, their majesty, their nobles shall be of themselves, meaning they're going to be of Israel. Right, and it says, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. Okay, meaning they're gonna come from, they're gonna be of of us. All right, and like I said, um, the Most High, his next, his next ruler of Israel. Okay, is who the people ignorant call Jesus Christ, who is who in the scriptures is also known as King of King, Lord of Lords. All right, so it's the Most High that appoints appoints the next rulers, and I have a. Uh, Matter of fact, let me get, um, the, the point here is done. Let me read that again. I'm going to get the one in Daniel. It says, and their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, says the Lord. So that was the point in that. Let me get Daniel's. Okay, let me get Daniel's 2 and 21. 2 and 20, 2, 2 and 21 or 20. 20. Right. This is Daniels 2 and 21. It says, And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. You see? Who does that? The Most High. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Who's the one that giveth wisdom and, and, and giveth knowledge? That's the Most High. Okay. Matter of fact, what is that? Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28 and, uh, what is it, 9? Yeah. Uh, 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 Isaiah 29. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Fucking eyes, man. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. But the, but the whom, whom shall he teach knowledge? That he is speaking about who? The Most High. It's the Most High that chooses who to get the understanding and who not to get understanding. It's the most high that chooses uh, kings on planet earth and, and, and rulers on planet earth. Hell, it tells you in Job 9.24 that the most high chose the Edomites to rule right now. Okay? Alright? The most high chose the Edomites to rule now. But it tells you in Apocrypha that when they rule, the next ones to rule after is what? Israel. Matter of fact, let me get uh, Sirach. Let me get that now. This is Sirach 11, uh, 10, verse 4. It says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. The power of the earth, the rulers of the earth. Okay? The rulers of the planet earth is in the hand of the Lord. Right? And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And the one that is profitable is the nation of Israel. Beginning with Yahweh Shai. He's going to be the ruler on the planet earth. Okay, and the people that are profitable are you Israelites, the, the people that refer to themselves or call themselves or are called so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We are the next rulers on the planet Earth, and and the number one ruler, okay, is uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, it, it, his name in the Hebrew, which, you know, I don't like saying it, I don't like saying that name, Jesus. But just to get the point across, in case there's somebody new watching the channel or watching this video, okay, uh, 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 the name Jesus, okay, Christ in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, okay? He is the deliverer, he is the savior, okay? Anointed savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? So, um, I think that's all I had. Um, I got the quote, I got, I got, 
I got the quote from Joseph Stalin, and I found a lot of other quotes um, about voting being bullshit, but um, it is what it is, man. Okay, we're supposed to wait on uh, uh, um, the, our next ruler or our next king of the nation of Israel is Yahweh Shai. Okay, and when and, and you know we're not supposed to uh, meddle in the affairs of this of this place because this place the Most High is getting ready to destroy, man. The Most High is getting ready to destroy America. Uh, all right, so there's no point in voting, or 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 voting in a kingdom that's that's uh, that's that's getting ready to fall. <clears throat> okay, so uh, that's pretty much it on 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 these scriptures. Uh, until the next show, Shalom.